Okay, so we're going to be talking about bodies today. Who's interested? <laughs> and how much fun can that be? So, hi, my name is Shweta and I'm a certified facilitator with Access Consciousness. And I was wondering if I could stream this on uh, my page as well. So, hi Manisha, nice to have you here. All right. So do you guys have any questions on bodies? So I just, just give me one more second, please. I apologize. Uh, it looks like you guys are more tech savvy than I am. So, oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I guess we'll stream when we stream. So, all right. So setting your body free is the topic for today. And uh, why I wanted to do this is I've been noticing in um, the last few months how um, aware our bodies are really, if we allow them to be aware and how much information they can give to us, but we really don't seem to be able to receive it. So how many of you in the last four months, five months, four months, I don't know, March end, right? Almost, this is the fifth month going on. So four months have basically kept on increasingly judging your body for not working out, for constantly eating, for not being able to step out. Actually, you know, so many times we just judge ourselves. We judge the situation. We judge stuff. We make things significant. We do a lot of these things which are really not contributive to the body without even realizing how whenever we make something significant, however, we make something relevant as an important to us in this reality something we can't let go of, even if it's a little upset with a friend or with the people you're trapped in the house with, you tend to lock it into your body. Did you know that? Whatever you make significant. So what is your body made up of? It's made up of matter, right? That's what they say. And Shannon in one of the earth calls recently, if you've, if you've heard her, said that our bodies are actually made of all of the elements that the earth is made up of. Do you realize that? So it is made up of matter, but also anything that you think matters, you start to store in your body. Now, it can store, be stored as fat cells, it can be stored as disease in your cells or something that really keeps your body stuck and does not allow it to change. So how many of you have been asking your body to change, have been trying to lose weight, have been trying to let go of the pain and the soreness in your bodies? Um, but really, are we asking questions? And even when we're asking questions, are we asking them from a space of allowing our bodies to change? And receiving from our bodies really allowing the contribution that our bodies are to us or are we actually resisting receiving from our bodies resisting all that could change not only with the body like would you allow the weight to go away would you allow the pain and the soreness how many of you are sensing pain in your body more than ever before how many of you have sore bodies more than ever before how many of you think or have seen people by the way or are into the business of helping people change their bodies but they're not changing so what is it that you could now be what energy space consciousness and choice can you and your body be like, would you include your body in this choice of being the energy, space, consciousness and choice that would allow you to actually be able to change anything in your body at will with total ease and everything that doesn't allow that will you destroy and uncreate them. Right, wrong, good, bad, what, fuck, online, shows, boys and beyond. So this was my invitation to you to begin to see your body in a very, very different way, in a way that you've never been willing to see before, in a way that um, 
is contributive to you and your life, to your business, to your family. So I want to know what brought you guys to this call. What are you looking at changing and where would you like to go? Because I have a series of three calls that starts tomorrow and well, I'll be available on the WhatsApp group too, but it's so personal, this thing with the bodies and how much you're willing to change, how much we're not willing to change. How much are we actually asking for? Because a lot of times we stop asking for things because we believe it's not going to change, even though we don't realize that we've just bought onto this point of view. Oh, it's not going to change. Give up, give it up. Forget it. I've done my diet. I've done my exercise. I've done whatever I wanted to do. And it's not changing. And then going to frustration, which is now making that matter even more like, Hey, my weight matters to me. My pain matters to me. Right. And now I've tried my best. It hasn't changed. So I'm just going to give it up, but, but it still matters to me because you are already in reaction to, I'm just going to give it up or I'm going to push harder. And then when that also doesn't work or it works a teeny weeny bit, I'm happy for a bit. And then I go back to, damn it, my body doesn't change. How many of you have judged your body with, damn it, it doesn't change. And what are you doing when you're doing that? Are you actually locking that thing even more? Or are you actually allowing your body to be that 50-50 contribution? Like if you're in a 50-50 partnership with your body, then would you actually judge it? Would you actually not allow whatever it is to change to change? And would you ever judge that you as an infinite being don't have the capacity to change anything? Do you actually have the capacities of being able to change anything with your body? Being able to appear whatever you would like to appear as with your body. And how many of you have your, made your body that gilly suit of class? You know what a gilly suit of class is? It's like you form a particular image. Your body forms a particular image. Now that that cannot change, you begin to kind of fit into the image that your body presents as is, which you're already judging, which further locks in that image. And now it can't change even more. And here you are wondering why your body can't change. So how many of you are using your body as the ghillie suit of class or whatever your body looks like right now? And camouflaging everything that you have as a capacity with your body, not, in, not only the capacity to be able to change it, but also the capacity to be using your body to change everything else in your life too. Does that make sense? So camouflaging is like when you blend in, when, when you're like that chameleon that's sitting on the tree and if you have a particular body type or if you have a particular thing in your body that's not changing, have you created an image with your body that does not allow you to receive more, that does not allow you to not only change your body but also not allow you to receive so much more that you could have received if you, your body, if you knew that your body can change, if you knew that your body could contribute to you, if you were willing to receive from your body and contribute to your body. So everywhere that you're using your body as a camouflage suit, you know, to disguise yourself into ordinary, to disguise yourself into something that just has to fit in rather than stand out, will you please destroy and unfair? Right, wrong, good, bad, God, for calling short boys and beyond. And that is the access consciousness clearing statement. So the prerequisite to these calls is definitely the bars, because unless you've had done, done the bars, then it's a little difficult for you to be able to receive what we're going to be talking about in these three calls and all right rita has a comment here all thoughts feelings emotions and points of view is not processed stores in the body yes it stores in the body and so many times it also stores as fat cells and i know for sure that it is this does create that pain the resistance that you have to changing that also starts to create the pain and not only are you aware of other people's you guys know that not only are you aware of other people's pains the intensity is they're aware of more so now because a lot of people are already going into that insanity of oh nothing's changing oh you know this matters i don't have to say so even if you have a thing with money for example my business not doing well my, my money situation not changing my relationship suddenly going all right because i've been stuck with these people so long that it really needs me to look at my relationships again all of these things where other people are going into that and you're tapping into all of that and then you think it's your simple this is a simple thing we all aware of that it's not mine which suddenly you bought it as yours you haven't asked a question you've gotten gotten into the point of view of oh i can't change it 
you see so how many things have you decided that you cannot change how many things have you decided that matter to you that actually don't matter to you that you have stored as fat cells as an energy that is that that seems like pain as an intensity of awareness that you haven't really identified as an intensity of awareness that if you did identify it as an intensity of awareness could allow you to have so many more possibilities and then when you begin to include your body into every choice that you make then what, what else is possible what else could you create what else could you generate so everything that comes up guys with this everywhere that you haven't been willing to include your body in your creations everywhere that um you aren't willing to be 50 50 partners with your body everywhere you're not asking for all the change that is possible with your body and with your reality including your body will you destroy and create peace right wrong with bad pop up online show boys and beyond so how are you guys doing and does anyone have a question does anyone have anything with the body that you're looking at changing and what brought you here today i'm like really curious oh hello shweta hi who said this is mishi uh yeah m it says m on <laughs> Right. yeah so i have a two thing and that brought me here i have put it in the chat box so i'm having it since two days actually mm-hmm. and i'm not the one who generally have any discomfort with the body never ever i would say yeah but uh, this two thing was something i could not sleep for two nights so i believe that it's a potency which is unused mm-hmm. and i think your call probably might have something to you know probably open it up and channelize it at the right place i wonder what capacities you have with your mouth and with your teeth um with what capacities do you have that are showing up as an intensity of awareness that you're not acknowledging what is your body trying to show you that you aren't even willing to look at so yes you've gone into now even going into hey it's a potency that i haven't acknowledged is that really a question or asking is this really a pain or is that an intensity of awareness my body is trying to show me yeah so it's exactly not a pain pain but it is that's what so the, it's not heavy but it's there so it's a little weird to even explain you know it's not hurting me but i'm staying awake the whole night because it is constantly there as if something is trying to remind me or to get my attention okay so then what are the questions that you could ask so <laughs> the, yeah the first thing that we do in access and yes these the calls that we'll be doing are um a little beyond the we'll we'll tackle this for now but you got to yeah. start to look at that there is there is a reality beyond this reality that our bodies are more aware of probably than um than we are right true um, we as beings okay hang on one second so what if you began to ask your body what is this that you're trying to show me rather than um oh i think it's a pain i think it's um a potency i think it's this because access says it's a potency no question simple question could be what is this and what can i do with this right okay. but we tend to go into this cause and effect thing of um oh now earlier before access we would have gone into kuch kha to nahi liya kuch fas to nahi gaya kahin kuch garbad to nahi you know but after access also instead of going into a more expansive question or like what is it which gives you like get the energy of what is this and then get the energy of oh it's a it's a potency that i'm not acknowledging so what am i not acknowledging or what potency is this oh i i might be wrong somewhere i think i have a potency which i'm not acknowledging so something's wrong with me and again you go to judgment you see so if i do... somewhere i feel shweta that i'm sorry for the interruption while uh, facilitating someone else i found that the person had the same thing and probably i wondered that how someone can uh, postpone the things just with the <laughs> tooth ache you know so I probably i tapped into her universe that it's so silly like a person cannot delay the things just due to a tooth ache <laughs> really probably for a second i just had that, that come on it's a very small thing so probably that was a small judgment probably i had for that lady 
and uh, oh, what did she feel it with the toothache? I didn't get it. Did she have? She a she had. Yeah, she had that, and they, she was having certain appointments. So she told me that she delayed those things because she had a toothache. So she was not comfortable. Hmm. Okay. So I just laughed it out. So maybe with that laughter, somewhere there was a little sarcasm or judgment. Maybe an inch of it, but probably being uh, that kind of a fragile person, it could be a judgment which I probably would not have picked up in that manner. Hmm. So, what's your judgment of you now? <laughs> and, the, and one more thing that I took antibiotics today which is the last thing that I can ever do for me it is like uh, worse than marijuana like any any medicine I would say I was a little stubborn on it bad, and why did you take antibiotics you said it's just a slight uh, didn't you say that yeah I said but the whole night I was awake till 6 o'clock which is not me so it's like constantly there was if I if I keep some water in my mouth then it's fine otherwise it's you know it starts paining again. So I have spent two nights like that. So I was just like now I need to have a good siesta. So for that I took the antibiotics. Okay. So my question to you before you told me about the antibiotics was, yeah, what are you judging yourself for now? Am I that weak that I need to take medicines? Before that. Where am I being stubborn? Where am I not listening to my body or my awareness, which is causing this thing? And before that? I believe in the universal power. So I allowed it to happen. I said, okay, if you can see me in the pain, I'm fine. I'll take it up. Hmm. Of course, excess doesn't believe in God, but. <laughs> no, before that, when you were laughing at the lady who had the toothache and delayed things because of the toothache. Yeah, so I said it's so silly, like how someone can delay their life decisions due to toothache. Hmm. So now tell me, what are you dealing with the toothache? Uh, yeah, so we are expanding our business hmm. and <laughs> probably I was just searching for the reason or probably get the validation not to launch the things on hmm. uh, my birthday, which is tomorrow. Mm. So somewhere subconsciously, I found that I was breaking my comfort zones and I don't need to do it. I mean, with God grace, I have got everything. So I don't need to go beyond that, you know. Yeah. Exactly. So I was just finding the reason not to <laughs> go beyond. You see, so you found a great reason when she was doing it. Were you laughing at her amazingness at being able to do it just with a simple toothache and said, wow, that's a good idea. I can do it too. Let me yeah. <laughs> excuse to now not create more. So how many of you are doing this thing of, I don't need to, and I'm good in my comfort zone. And there might be a pandemic out there. There might be people who are losing all their business or they don't have the money. I'm good. I'm secure. I'm just going to keep the money that I have and save it and, you know, hold on to it and not go and, and risk anything because it might just go away or why the hell should I go out when I can get infected or for whatever reason. And you being aware of everything that's going on out there, you being aware of other people's indecisions, you being aware of other people's whatever insecurities and then tapping into that not asking a question at the beginning making that matter how much so this is an example of how your body desires to contribute to you your body might just be showing you <laughs> hey you know what you don't need to do this mm. she is mm. doing it and you could do it too but you have a choice mm. you don't need to but are we really listening to our bodies or are we busy? it's really hilarious <laughs> it is hilarious so were you laughing at her or were you laughing at yourself Mm, yeah so I that was a manipulation right <laughs> hell no you tell me what it was my job is to just ask you questions i'm not the one who's going to give you answers mm, yeah so of course it was a many to go beyond yeah so how thanks that, yeah so look at look at what else are you stopping in your life what else are you limiting and what else is your body trying to show you but you won't let it show you because you want to lock up all of that pain into your body make that significant then make that pain matter and then probably stuff yourself with antibiotics which you don't need which is for the destruction of your body because if mm. that pain isn't yours and if there's just an intensity that your body is showing you mm. You just got that idea from her and you just took it on as a brilliant idea. But you, why wouldn't you take on an idea where someone is actually going ahead and creating and look at that person and say, oh my God, I'd like to expand my life and then ask her what to show you that. You see? Yeah. So how many of you are using your body as an excuse 
to not create and generate your life as great as it could be rather than use your body as a tool your body mm. would like to be used as a tool your body is there to contribute to you it's like that genie is saying hey i'm at your command but it's up to me to actually now use it to my advantage or not and here we are busy destroying our bodies by stuff that we think is significant stuff that we think is is real how much of what is going on outside of outside in this reality is real and how much have we made real and significant that sticks us and sticks our bodies and it's like like just while you're listening to me what if you just push your barriers down guys like notice how many just go down just with me saying okay will you push your barriers down where you haven't even agreed to push your barriers down yet so would you actually begin to push your barriers down with any ache or pain in your body for now just this little thing of try it out push your barriers down and down and further down and i know you have done it enough but how many times you remember to do it and would you just do it humor me for now and do it even more time and you really don't have to meditate just ask them to go down and and more if you just laughed at it oh cool i have a barrier up to this thing now notice how many barriers did you have up to how many things ah just get the energy of it you don't even have to go into oh i had a barrier up to falana and to dikana and to this and to money and to people but just notice the energy of wow i had barriers up to people wow i had barriers up to receiving oh i had barriers up to promoting myself oh i had barriers up to putting this class out there or putting this new business out there how many barriers have you put up just by deciding that something was real and it wasn't and as you allow these barriers to go down whatever it is that you've been resisting allow it to come in not into your body into your space just allow it to come and contribute information to you can contribute to you in ways of awareness let that energy come in because you were resisting that energy and how much of your body were you using to push that energy out how much energy and okay how much is your body trying to show you all the possibilities that are available to you and here you are busy shutting it out creating more pressure more force against your body so that it can never show you what is possible and then you want to hold on to that i'm just going to hold on to this barrier you know like how those super people do in like they'll just keep their hand there so that the energy keeps pushing out that negative supposedly negative energy that that villain or that, that bad guy sending out so how much you think is bad is evil out there that you are making matter and you're making it significant and how much of that are you using to hold your body stiff and solid and probably even increasing in weight how much of that fear of what's going to happen if you did take that one step outside are you making matter and significant and how much of that are you holding into your body so now all of that that i spoke about and everything else that i should be saying that i'm not saying will you please strong and get all right wrong good bad pot pokal and chos boys and then push your barriers down push your barriers down ask them to go down further like please take a deep breath and allow your body to relax and now what else is possible that hasn't been possible before with your body what is your body trying to show you what is it asking for what is it desiring to contribute to you will you please receive it and if it wasn't a core pain if it wasn't really fear that you think is fear if it wasn't really the food that you're eating that was creating the weight if it wasn't the lack of exercise that you think you should be doing what if it was an exercising of your commitment to not judging yourself and your body what would that change and that's just the beginning guys that's just the beginning of so many tools that access offers that will actually allow your body to be able to contribute to you like will you please set your body free how much of you know we use this term incarceration in access and when we also use the word what jails are you using it's like how many of you are putting your body in this incarcerated um vibrational virtual reality a reality that isn't even real is it even true where you're trying to fit into other people's reality and when they are living in these virtual realities where they think that all of the fear is real all the negativity is real everything that's happening out there with the lack of money or the economic depression is real 
that you can't step out and all of the other things which other people's realities that you're aware of what their bodies are going through how many people are choosing to leave the earth using using the virus that is going on the corona thing as an excuse how many people are choosing different that you're aware of with your bodies but here you are where you have a judgment of your body and you lock it in and you literally incarcerate your body in the sense you put it in a prison you put it in a jail and the body can't even breathe let alone contribute to you so is now the time to change all of that guys is now the time to actually allow your body to contribute to you to remove those jails to remove those incarcerations and set your body free allow yourself to tap into the awareness that your body is showing you allow and it's it's really these tools are so simple yet so pragmatic so potent but the thing is that you got to know the tools and you got to use the tools so how many of you are actually willing to literally step up your potency with your body to set your body free and be able to receive the contribution that your body is to you and desires to be to you. and what's going to change if we actually started tapping into the earth as well like just for this moment tap into the earth just ask to be connected with the earth and see what that changes with whatever ache and pain you have in any part of your body with whatever it is that you think you can't change with your body whether it is body fat whether it is body pain whether it is soreness or stiffness like just ask what connection am i not being with the earth right so just wanted to invite you to the beauty of these tools and with the simple use and awareness of these tools what can be changed with the body with your body what can you be aware of other people's bodies that you can receive contribution from that you can contribute to and guys if you're healers you know if you've done any of the healing calls if you've done the foundation class you know if you're healers then there is all the more awareness that you have around your body which if you deny yourself and it can actually very conveniently turn into something which is destructive for you and your body because when you don't acknowledge something is a potency then it can barely contribute to you and sometimes it begins to destroy you right so how much of your awareness are you using against yourself that is actually destroying your body rather than allowing your body to contribute to you with total ease and everything that is allowed that will be destroyed you know right wrong good bad pak pak online chat boys and me so hari kirti says i delivered my baby last year but my tummy hasn't come back to normal yet what can i do um hari kirti i would say the first step is to start communing with your body to start the conversation with your body that you haven't been willing to have how many of you have actually um had conversations with your body how many of you have a point of view that you don't know how to talk to your body how many of you have a point of view that communication with your body has to look a certain way and if it doesn't then you don't know how to do it and you can't receive from it so what if the first tool is for you to trust that you know how to do this and that there are there are a lot of things that we're going to be tackling in the three calls and today is the last day at these calls are at an offer price uh i will be giving you tools and tool sheets along with which you can start to use so that you can get more in communion with your body so that you can start to become more aware of what you're aware of and again it's your awareness that you got to trust i can give you questions i can give you tools i can facilitate you which i'm going to but are you really willing to commit to your body like a lot of people say that um i want change it with my body and yeah i hear all of these things but are you really committed to receiving from your body are you really committed to doing everything that your body is asking for because i know sometimes sometimes it's like i go cheat on my body i know something i shouldn't eat but then i go ahead and eat it right so many times you know that you shouldn't be pushing your body as hard as you are and you're not being kind to your body but you still go ahead and do it so where's the commitment so are you truly willing to be committed to your body are you truly willing to be committed to the change that your body can create for you that the contribution that you can be to yourself as well as others because when you begin to receive the change for yourself then you can contribute to others too and it's amazing how it contributes in so many ways to so many other parts of your life including your relationships including your money situation including your business it's not linear right so the first step to changing anything is to start communing with your body the tools of which we will go in into in depth with shweta i wanted to ask something Yeah. You said uh, your awareness uh, you could use against your body. 
I mean, your awareness of the body you could use against you. Could you? Can you? I would like you to give me some example there. Yeah. Um, Mishi was just talking about this thing that she <laughs> yeah. was using. Were you there when she spoke about it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I had a, I got a call beach me, so I don't know. Yeah, so she was talking about um, a toothache that she was using as an excuse. First, she got an awareness of a toothache that one of her clients was having or somebody she spoke to was having. And she yeah. amused with it. But then so many times when you're amused with it, and you're going to, oh, let me try this out and see if this works for me, you know. And then you okay. develop a toothache and you say, oh, now I can go ahead and create a new business because I have a toothpick, a tooth, tooth. What did I say? Toothpick? <laughs> toothache. <laughs> Yeah, and then you you just stop. You if you're not going ahead and creating your life, then are you destroying it? Yeah. So how many of you are not creating your life with all the awareness that your body is giving you? That if you did actually tap into the awareness, would allow you to have like way more money than you have currently, way better relationships than you have currently, way more businesses than you have currently. So where have you decided that your body is only this little thing that you have as that camouflage suit that you've created in a way? Because it's also camouflaging, no? When you say, oh, I have a toothache. So now you've created that the body as a ghillie suit of class where you have a pain and ache so that you can never go out and choose something greater. And then you, once you've locked that in into your body as a point of view, as a definition, as a memory in, one, in your cells so that it now becomes something that keeps going on autopilot and every time you don't want to do something or you've decided that you're scared of doing something or you don't want to take a risk, now you'll automatically have a pain and ache and you'll say, no, I can't do this. How many times have you done that? So how many things have you used as excuses with your body? So that you could never be as great and as phenomenal as you truly be. And when you begin to do that, does your body, does your body happy about it? Your body is like, what? Like, what are you doing? Like, I wanted to go there and try that. I wanted to do that new business. I wanted to travel. What? But you can't change it because you made it significant. You made it matter and you've locked it in your body. You see? So how many things have you locked in your body as autopilots, as auto triggers that just do not allow you to change? And then that becomes a distractor, right? Now, because now you, it becomes more significant because you haven't been able to change it. So now for Mishi, for example, if her toothache, she cannot change, then she'll say, okay, fine. First she went into, okay, give jitna dard dena hai, de lo, main jail lungi. And then she, she realized that she can't jail all that dard. So she'll have to take antibiotics because for whatever reason, the other stuff came in and now she has to go into more of judgment of herself now. So you see, if you listen to this call again, she started off with, started talking about this client. Mishi, I'm sorry I'm using it as an example, but thank you for that no, question. That's, that's working for such a great thing. It's like you look at every time you go into a solid point of view and you go, Acha boni badla, to main aur galat Acha ab main, ab main isko badal lungi. And slowly you're going into this thing of, hey, I can't change anything. I can't do anything. So, you know, you keep going. And if you see five years earlier, however willing you were to, take, to go and create a new business or a new life or better relationships, how willing are you now to do that? Same thing. Not so much. Are you? Ab mujhse nahi hoga. How many of you do that? Ab main nahi kar sakti, itna to kar liya. So what is that? You know, so how many of these decisions do we lock into our bodies? And does that set, set your body free or does it put it in a jail where the body wants to go and choose and you're like literally against your body and you're like, no, I won't let you. No, because you think you're smarter, but are you? So everywhere you think you're smarter than your body, will you please destroy it at all? And I'm going to stop here. So if you guys want more on this, you're invited. Come join the calls and we can talk in depth. And I can give you a lot more tools that I've been using with my body. And literally my body has been showing me the tools now. More so as an energy um, than literally words. And I'm willing to share all of that with you. Everything that I've learned over these, the access has been having amazing calls. There's been a lot of change in the last four months. So if this is something that entices you and excites you and you're looking at an adventure, not looking for um, limited small results, 
and well you're invited join in um we have three calls 7th 9th 11th today it is at um i think 3750 or something um somewhere on that and you get all the tools but today's the last day to sign up at that price so hurry up join in and let's play right um what else is possible guys what else can we create with our bodies that we've never been willing to create before So I'm going to say bye now and I'm super, super grateful for each one of you who joined in today. Um, Thank you so much. You are so welcome and I hope I see you guys somewhere soon. So goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye.